Hello everybody and I'm back and we're going to be continuing in this episode our tutorial on building a house in Roblox. So in the last video I, well we made this simple frame here that I'm get currently giving a tour graph. So, um, but we built this frame that I'm kind of showing off to you guys right now. So, yeah. So this is um, what we built in the last episode. So in this episode, we're going to be working on it some more, um, hoping to get some of the roof in and maybe some stuff on the outside. But some things that I've been noticing is it's not exactly tip top. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort this. So under here, we've got this little brick like thing and we don't want that. So if I go surface, smooth new outline, it sorts out that outline. And we can go around all of our door entrance like areas and do that. So now if I use control D on this and oh dear not mess it up. If I use control D we can get another one and I noticed that I haven't actually uh, outlined this area here the art door. So, so we need to put the frame on it. So to do that, remember guys, we kind of do this. So yeah, so I'm just sorting out this frame here because I need to, I never sorted it out last episode when I went around putting all these frames in. So now we're going to be doing a few things and we're going to be working with a few things today called unions. And their job is to basically group everything together, but in a different way to a standard way that I've shown you guys. So it's going to make it so they're a bit, they look, it's going to look a bit nice when we do it. So we're going to be able to union this wall and this wall. These guys can be union. So if I, well, to be honest guys, when we're union, using unions on walls, we need to be careful. So if I use union there, that should actually be quite all right. However, I would be a little bit worried, but we might not use unions, I don't know yet guys, but first I would like to focus on the roof that we're going to do. Also, I think we're actually going to go do some walls first, walls some windows anyway. So I want to make a nice window here, we're about here. So to do this, we're going to take a part, we're going to bring it down, we're going to bring it across. We're going to line up about where we want the part. I'm going to do about there. That looks all right, doesn't it? I think that would be a great place to put window. Might make it a bit bigger. Uh, but apart from that, I think that would be a great place to put window. Now we need to make sure it goes through to the other side. We need to turn it into a negate part. Now we're going to hit D because we're going to have a few windows along here. Because why not? They look nice. And we'll have one here. And we'll have one here. And we'll make sure we have all these negate parts set, selected. And we'll select this part here, which is our wall. And we do union. Puts us some nice holes in the wall. So, in a minute we're going to go through and we're going to cover those up and make those look a bit nicer. So, I might do some windows here. Here and here. So, yet again, we're going to take a part. And over there we can make a bit of a bigger window, because I think that would be nice. So if we move this part through the wall, it needs to be through the wall. And then remember guys, we need to get it about where we want it. Once we have done this, you can get it back. I think we're just going to put it over there. I don't want to, uh, I'm just going to put it here. So it, it, we can undo it once we, if we mess up, but then we've got to start all over again. So I'd rather not do that. So, do that there. We need to make sure it's gone through to the other side, which it has. Remember, turn it into a negate part, like this. And then, union there. So, that's made a nice window, which will be a nice thing to look out through the kitchen. Also, this is going to be the bedroom here. So, we'll have a window there, because that would also look nice. Remember guys, you've got to make sure it goes through to the other side, otherwise you won't have a proper window. Because it would just look weird. 
and it you can't see for it so we're going to make sure that this looks nice so we're gonna do one about here I think that would look nice do one there maybe yeah that looks good get this again make sure it's going through to the other side turn it into a gate the gate part and union we have our another window for our bedroom and I don't think I think we should have one more here in the living room our rather small mind you living room we'll have a nice one here because why not you'll look nicer remember the gate and union there you go so now we've put some oh don't want to go through the floor now we've got some nice windows in it'd be quite nice because then we can so now we're going to go and make our doors we're also going to make our windows now to do this we're going to come over here and we're going to make this window this is going to be our window so it can be as thin as possible now we're going to move the part using the select tool which means we can drag it around a bit which is actually quite helpful especially with this and put this like this now notice it won't let us do that and that can that's not too much of a problem we can just move it in forcibly using the tool and now if we just settle it in there and we can just do this oh dear okay and you're probably wondering oh that just makes a solid wall that's kind of indented that's where we're going to change it we're going to make this into plastic there so that kind of looks nice and then we're going to set the colour I desire, we desire our windows to be I'm going to be have a bit of a I'm going to have a ghost grey and then we're going to come down here we're actually going to change this transparency and we're going to make it like that there you go I, like, I want mine like that so you can kind of actually I might make it a bit clearer let me just make it clearer so you can kind of see there we go so you can kind of see in and you can also see out which is actually quite cool so if I go D and if I rotate it on the green axis and not move all the parts rotate on the green axis okay and now we can move it over here and make our window you see there we've got our window again we hit D remember we can move it through to the other side and we can also bring it down and up if necessary with mine it is definitely necessary so we're building so remember we are still building this house this is the house we started in the last episode so I just move this here and then we have a window there we need one more window out the back in the bedroom. Do that. We're going to go do the same thing again. We're going to move it through to here. There we go. And I'm going to move mine up a little bit and also scale it downwards because then it looks quite nice. So now we've got windows. Now remember, yet again, I'm just going to quickly select all these parts. And as you can see, we've got quite a few parts. We want to make sure anchored is true. Because then when we go in, it doesn't just fall that down. So now, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting doors in. So this one, I'm going to have a solid door. Some of my doors are going to be non-see-through, and some of them are. So yet again, we're going to do that again to make it nice and thick. We're going to go wall thin actually, not thick. We're thinking, and we're gonna go through, and we're just gonna do this now again. However, we're gonna have a different value to last one. So, see here, we've got this door. Now, I'm gonna make this door, I'm gonna put detail in this door actually. So, this is a quite a big door, so I don't know why it is, it just is. I might actually make it smaller. One second, smaller. Ah. We've also got this problem here, we can't really do that anymore because it's a union. So we are going to have to do that. And what I'll do is I'll take that. 
and we'll move it over here. Number, size it so it doesn't cause flickering. And then we'll just size it down to the bottom. Like so. So, that looks a bit better. Not as nice as I'd like, but it will do. And just to make it look a bit more proper, we'll just go like that. And then there's a obviously quick and easy patch job done to solve our problem. Actually, I think we're going to rotate it. That should solve our problem there. Because it kind of, the bricks are in it at a different angle, so if I just fix it, then it will look a bit nicer and less weird. Just because of how it works with Roblox, it doesn't, it can get my nerves sometimes. There we go. There you go, that is less nerve annoying. That's going to annoy me a bit less. I lined it up properly. There we go. I think I'm just going to have to live with it. And we can union there just to make it a bit better and stick to the pattern. So, this door, I'm going to change it. So, what we're going to do first things of all, I'm not going to have windows, but I'm going to make it brown for a door colour. Nice door colour. And I think we'll go with. The wood one, not the. There you go. That looks kind of nice. And we want to change one more thing on here, which is called the can collide property. Property. We turn that off and we will turn anchor on. We'll hit D and we'll move this door around the house. So for our for our bedroom, we will put our door in now for our bedroom. So this is only a simple door that you can simply walk through. I might teach you guys how to make a one that's actually a proper door, but I have no intentions of doing that for now. So we'll just do that. So we now have doors that you can walk through, and, if you, and I'll prove this to you guys. So if I just go and play, it'll also be a nice way for you guys to see the house a bit more. So here we have our nice area. We can walk in and out of the rooms. Like so the reason why I have it thin is because then it's harder to just do a thing where you can do that. Obviously I've managed to do it then, but it's just to make it harder to do it. So we can walk out here, onto here, and we can get our nice little view of our house. And we can't jump through windows as you can notice because they are a solid block. So, anyway guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I know um, I know it was a short one, but I'm trying to keep them 15 minutes long for now, um, but we've got doors, we've got windows, and the next episode we'll be adding a roof. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching, and goodbye.